You're just a few techniques away from being unstoppable. As you know, After Effects is a beast of a software with the ability to help you create powerful stories. So, let's harness that power, these five quick techniques, and further our mastery of motion design. <laughs> let's get started. All right, feel free to check out the time code below, but we're gonna start off by showing how to create orbital animations that will enable you to create revolving motion graphics in a 3D environment. So we have a base object, which is a circle, and we can go ahead and design the objects we want to revolve around our base design. When your elements are ready, make sure the anchor point is centered for every layer, make the layers 3D, and then rotate the orbital objects by 90 degrees you know, or so. Now for the part everyone wants, to rotate objects in 3D space, create a null object, make it 3D, and then animate the Y rotation. And then when you parent your objects to the null, they will revolve perfectly. And if you don't want to have your objects laying flat on the ground, select those layers, go to Layer, Transform, Auto Orient, and select Orient Towards Camera. Boom, perfect. The next motion graphics all about creating cinematic blurs to help you design creative motion graphics in no time. For this step, feel free to create random stroke shapes. For instance, I'll use a single stroke circle, make it 3D, and then rotate it by 90 degrees. Then I'll duplicate, reposition, and scale the size down several times. And when done, pre-compose everything, and then click continuously rasterize to bring that 3D data over to your new composition. Now we can create a camera and then use the camera tools to find a new angle for our design. When ready, go into the camera options and turn on depth of field. Then increase the aperture by a lot and adjust the focus distance. To colorize your work, apply the four color gradient to the design composition and change your colors however you need. Lastly, apply the glow effect adjust the threshold and increase the glow radius. And feel free to duplicate the glow effect if needed. And now you can create cool cinematic elements. But for a pro tip, you can use the wiggle paths in your shape layer to give your strokes movement. Next up is all about creating truly stylized 3D text and graphics that stand out. When your text is ready, be sure to set your project 3D renderer to Cinema 4D. Make your text layer a 3D layer, then go straight to the extrusion depth of your text and set it to any amount. Also, if you like, you can set the bevel style to convex and the bevel depth to 10, but keep in mind these numbers can be whatever you need them to be. And that's how I lost my job as a bank teller. But be sure to go to animate, side, color and then change the color to help stylize the title. And if you added a bevel, go to bevel, color, RGB, and we'll set the color to black as well. Now, feel free to animate your text any way that you like. You can use the text animate parameters, and of course you can rotate this in 3D space. Then pre-compose your text, right-click the layer, and add a stroke. Change the color and boom, great. 3D text. Before we move on to our next technique, be sure to pick up our free motion duck templates for After Effects and Premiere Pro. And if you find yourself needing to save precious time on all your projects, we have over 35,000 templates to help you produce amazing work with the link below. Okay, if you couldn't tell yet, 3D is an integral part of motion graphics. Uh, you may not always work with 3D, but understanding how to make natural light sources in a 3D scene is a useful technique to know. For example, we have a 3D rectangle in the center of the scene. Using the orbiting techniques from the beginning of the video, we can attach a light to a 3D null object with its Y rotation animated. And then using two views, we can see that the light spins around the scene. Looks good, but let's make this a real light source. So create a white circle and be sure to center the anchor points. Make it a 3D layer, then go into material options, turn off accept lights, and set the diffuse to 100%. You can parent the circle's position to the position of the point light. Then we can pair our shape layer to the null object. Then, by using auto orient and orient towards camera, we now have a visible light source that clearly affects our 3D elements. For more on this workflow, you can check out the full tutorial uh, linked below. All right, the last motion graphic we must know how to create is being able to design any object using trim paths and repeaters. There's literally no limitation to what you can create. So let me show you. We can create a stroke circle and inside of that shape layer, we can add trim paths. Then animate the start or end to animate the line on. Pretty simple. But if we wanna create something more complex, 
I'll create a line with a circle inside of the same shape layer. Then we'll use trim paths to animate the line and then we'll just like animate the scale of the circle. But now we can duplicate this entire design by adding a repeater. At face value, repeaters can be tricky to use, but here's all you need to know. Adjust the repeater's position to fit the layout you want. For circular duplication, set the X position to zero and set the rotation to 45 degrees. Then adjust the number of copies and that's it. Congratulations, you can now create complex motion graphics. To conquer even more complex projects, be sure to subscribe and always be creating.